Hi, it's Greg here with another Vim screencast. And tonight I'm recording this from my home, uh, which I usually don't do. Uh, my children are asleep and so I'm speaking pretty quietly. Hopefully the audio will come through okay. Uh, but the topic that I want to talk about tonight is working with indented code or working with nested code and some things that I've adjusted lately with my setup to make that a little bit better. Uh, the first thing that I want to show you is this indent line plugin that I just discovered and I'm quite delighted with. Uh, what this plugin does is it draws these uh, vertical lines here so that you can easily see no matter where the cursor is, you know, what the corresponding like closing tag would be based on indent level. Um, so that's good. I mean, we already have this ability to uh, hit the percent key to jump back and forth between matching parents, but sometimes when you're just like editing text and you're not on a parent, it's it's really useful to see like roughly where you are um, using those indent guides. So my only real complaint with this plugin is uh, because it's using match highlighting, match highlighting always overrides syntax highlighting. And that's why um, even though I've got cursor line turned on, um, and if I show you what the highlight color for cursor line is, um, it's basically looks like this, as you can see, um, it's some background color. The background color is getting overridden by the matches that indent line is putting in there. So that's a little bit ugly, um, but I, I guess I'm prepared to accept that given the upside of using the plugin is pretty high. I quite enjoy it. Um, in terms of setting it up, I'm gonna go to my dot .files and I'm gonna show you the setup. It works pretty well out of the box. I only had to make two changes to make it work well. Um, as you can see here, make sure it's not active in help and make sure it's not active in nerd tree buffers. So let's show you what those things look like. Let's go, what am I even doing? There's nerd tree. Um, don't have it active in nerd tree. Um, don't have it active in help. Let's just open a random help buffer because we don't really want any of these uh, indent markers happening in either of those kinds, but I found that it works pretty well in pretty much every other kind of buffer. Um, so that's one trick for working with nested buffers. Uh, let's see what else I've done lately. Uh, I made match parent highlighting toggleable. Um, and let's actually show what I did in that commit. Uh, Effectively, uh, what match parent highlighting does is when your cursor is on a parent, it highlights the alternate counterpart of the parent that you're on. And of course you can jump back and forth between them with percent. Um, I found this a little bit visually distracting. Um, and so I had turned it off. Uh, but then I found that sometimes I actually did want to, to see it. So um, I've now got that map to uh, leader M to turn it on and off. So that's that's off. When I move the cursor onto a parent, it does nothing. I can still use percent to jump back and forth, uh, but uh, I can turn it on or off at will with leader M. And I think that works pretty well. Um, one of the problems I had with it was that when you're writing, when you're working in a section of code that has a lot of parents, like sometimes it's not clear where the cursor is. Um, it, I mean, it is if I move the cursor, but like if I look away from the screen and then look back, I actually don't know where the cursor is and I don't want to have to move it in order to see where it is. Uh, so, oops. Um, I kind of think I'm mostly going to keep it off, but I'll turn it on occasionally when I want. Um, the other thing that's useful uh, in terms of working with nested code and the last thing I want to look at actually is uh, down here. Actually, let's, let's go up there. Um, so you see here, I've, I'm, I'm looking at a JSX markup. Uh, and normally when you hit percent, you are going to jump back and forth between parents, but with the match it plugin, you can jump back and forth between words as well. So you see I'm hitting percent there and I'm moving between the tags. Um, and the same will happen here on article. So that's pretty useful. Like I said, it comes with Vim um, and if we look at my history, like this I have, I've had this on for a long time actually. Um, 
Oops. I've had this on for a long time, but the, the difference is uh, I'm doing it the vmate way now. Um, vmate way is to just call pack add match it. And that turns on match it for you. Um, it's got extensive help, which you can read all about inside Vim. Um, but I find the combination of those elements uh, to be pretty good for working with nested code. Uh, there are other kind of somewhat clever things you can do uh, in terms of custom text objects um, to select like nested sections and then uh, the sections that are enclosing those sections. Uh, but I don't use them often enough to have them wired in my muscle memory, so I'm not going to show you those. But they do exist, and it's something you could look up if you're interested in it. Um, but that's all I got for you for now. Um, hope you enjoyed the screencast.